Hello everyone, welcome to this time expressions video. In this video, we're going to talk about time expressions for the past, present, and future. Now, in the previous video, the before video, we already studied ago, later, uh, last, and next. Those ones are common. And here are a few more, okay? Now, there's a lot of time expressions, and I can't teach them all, but I tried to choose the most common. All right, so let's take a look. The first is the past, things that happened before. And the first one, very common, last night. Very easy to use. Last night I ate pizza. Last night I drank a beer. Last night I went to bed early. All right, so very easy to use to talk about yesterday night. Now the next three in the past, a long time ago and long ago okay these are things that happened before but a very long time has passed so for example in the past Korea had a war okay so that was long ago a long time ago was the Chosun dynasty okay long ago was the Chosun dynasty all of these are good expressions to talk about something long ago. Okay, let's move on to the present. Now, right now. Right now, I'm teaching in this video. Also, we could use this one, as we speak. As we speak means the same as now. As we speak, I am teaching this video. Nowadays, these days, recently, all of these mean the same thing. So, something has happened around this time. Now be careful with nowadays. Nowadays is one word. A lot of my students say nowadays. Nowadays is wrong. Don't say nowadays. You have to say now. -a. There's an A there. Nowadays. Nowadays. These days. Recently. So nowadays the weather is very hot or these days the economy is bad. All right. So all of them, very similar. All right, let's go to the future. Soon. A lot of my students like to say, coming soon, coming soon. Now, we usually use coming soon for movies that are coming soon. But just when we're talking with our friends, uh, we don't usually say coming soon. We say soon. My friend is coming soon. That's okay. But I'm getting married soon. Or I'm going to eat dinner soon, okay? I'm going to use it like that. Don't use coming soon too much. Tonight, tonight, I'm going to have a good dinner. Tonight, I'm going to go to bed early. Tomorrow night, okay? Tomorrow night, I have to meet my friends. Tomorrow night, I'm going to exercise, all right? And the last two, in the future, far in the future all right so we're talking about a long time so in the future i don't know when in the future i will get married far in the future far in the future maybe 20 years later i will retire i will quit my job all right so i'm sorry i had to go a little bit quick through these expressions these are good time expressions to express the past present and future Let's take a look at a few examples right now. Okay, I wrote three sentences here to help you understand how to use the time expressions past, present, and future. Let's take a look at the first one, in the past, okay? We should try and always use our time expression at the beginning of the sentence. So in the past, that's my time expression. After our time expression, we should use a comma. In the past, comma. So, in the past, Korea was poor. In the past, Korea was poor. All right? The economy was not good. Let's look at the next sentence. Nowadays, comma. So, nowadays, these days, recently. Korea is developing. Okay, nowadays Korea is developing. 
Again, I have a comma. And let's go to the future. In the future, Korea will be rich. In the future, Korea will be, in, will be rich. In the future, far in the future, soon, maybe soon. Soon, Korea will be rich, okay? So again, use the time expressions in the beginning, followed by a comma there, okay? So let's look at some more examples. Example one. Last night, I had a job interview. Today, I got a phone call. I was hired. Tonight, I will celebrate at a good restaurant. Okay, example number two. In the past, children were very polite. Nowadays, children are rude. In the future, I hope children are polite again. Right, next example. Recently, I have been sick. As we speak, my stomach hurts. Soon, I may need to go to the hospital. All right, the last example. A long time ago, I got married. These days, I have two teenage boys. Far in the future, I will have grandchildren. Okay, so those were some good examples of how to use the time expressions of past, present, and future. Now, as I taught you, you should try and use the time expressions at the beginning of the sentence. But in some cases, it is okay to use them at the end. All right, that's, that's not a bad thing. Anyway, I hope you understand. I know there's a lot to learn in this video. I hope to see you again soon.